If you want to travel smart, it all comes down to knowing when is the best time to buy or when to wait. You know, all booking those flights. Okay, how do you know? Vacation. Really don't. You have to talk to an expert. You need one. And we actually have one. Travel Zoo's Gabe Saglia here to tell us more about that. <laughs> How to get the best <laughs> bets when it comes to traveling abroad. Hi, Gabe. We're glad to have hey, an guys. expert on board. Yeah. Listen, uh, you, you, you're throwing that word expert around quite uh, quite easily. <laughs> but uh, listen, there, there's something happening as we speak. You know, this is the unofficial end of the summer season. Uh, and that means that we're seeing a window of opportunity open up in the month of September. Yes. If you're looking to buy airfare for the holidays, for fall travel, this is happening at, right now. This is when you want to start scoping those now. So what do we, so right this second is the time to buy? Is there like a window? What's the window of opportunity we talking? So, yeah, so what happens is that we've seen sort of the return of a dependable seasonality in the tra travel industry as we emerge out of uh, the COVID pandemic, meaning that as soon as summer comes to an end, the kids are back to school, our summer vacationing slowly coming to an end, especially after this weekend, the demand drops for travel. Uh, you're going to see airfare uh, sales pop up. You're going to see promotions from a lot of your favorite hotels and vacation companies. Cruising uh, is going to be uh, quite uh, sort of at a bargain premium over the next couple of months. September really is, I call it a golden window of opportunity because once September is over, once we head to, to middle to late October, airfare will, will go right back up. It'll stay up through the holiday season. Uh, and you're going to miss out on some of the sales that are going to be popping up over the next couple of weeks. So any airfare you find, especially for holiday time destinations, in September, they're not going to get any lower. You want to nab them uh, then. And if you're planning sort of a fall time trip over the next um, couple of weeks, couple of months, uh, you're going to be seeing some really good value opportunity in some of our favorite destinations that were pretty high over the summer season, but now just become much more affordable as demand drops September into October. So let's talk about that. You mentioned places to go. Where should people be looking to this fall? Well, listen, a lot of folks, had, I think we all knew somebody who was in Europe to some, at some point over the summer True. season there. Everybody was in France, everybody was in Greece, everybody, everybody was in Italy and the U.K. Uh, but airfare to Europe was averaging about 1,400 over the uh, summer season. That's going to drop dramatically. You're going to start to see uh, airfare to Europe uh, at a bargain uh, compared to, to those highs uh, that we saw in May, June, July. Uh, so for those scoping out a, a fall time or even winter time a European getaway, some great uh, airfare deals. And keep in mind, for the first time in 20 years, the euro and the dollar are one-to-one, -one, meaning that your everyday expenses like that cappuccino, the ticket to the museum, are simply going to become easier to afford, hotel prices as well. And even against the sterling, against the, the British pound, we're seeing the, mus or the, uh, the U.S. dollar flex a little bit of muscle there. Also, beach destinations, certainly here in Southern California, places like Hawaii, uh, especially after October, I'd say in Hawaii, uh, and, and Florida, these beach destinations, Mexico, the Caribbean, also becoming much more affordable. And anywhere that families gravitated toward over the summer season, national parks, uh, you know, Orlando, uh, again, Southern California is under that uh, umbrella as well, becoming more affordable as we head into these next uh, couple of months. All right, so you also have flagged three deals for us for fall travel. Uh, we want to start first with Sonoma. Tell us about that. Well, listen, uh, there's some, the, uh, the harvest season, if you're a, the wine grape, uh, uh, grape vines are just bursting. They are, they're just prime for the picking. And so if you're traveling to any sort of wine re destination over the next couple of uh, months, uh, October into November, uh, just a, a lot of buzz in the air, a lot of activity on the ground, but the rates have dropped dramatically. This is one of my favorite resort or hotels in the country, sitting on its own set of mineral hot springs. It's the Fairmont Sonoma Mission Inn and Spa rates. Pretty high over the summer season because demand was so hot, dropping to about 289 and up uh, over the next several months. So if you want a nice, exclusive sort of five-star escape to the heart of Sonoma wine country, it doesn't get much better than this and that's going to take you not only through the end of the year but into the first couple of months of 2023. I mentioned national parks. You know, there's a place uh, just outside of Zion called the uh, Cliff Rose Springdale. This is in Springdale, Utah. Um, this is a place that if you'd booked it, say, in June or July, you were paying more than $700 a night. This is one of Hilton's Curio hotels, part of their very sort of posh Curio brand. Rates now through December drive more than 70%. So a beautiful example of how when demand drops, prices can tumble accordingly. So 209 over the weekdays, 279 on weekends. Uh, and again, this is a beautiful boutique hotel, five minutes from the entrance to beautiful Zion National Park. 70% off. Wowee. I'm sorry. I'm still thinking about Sonoma. You said wine, and I was just, <laughs> got my attention. His ears, you know, like, perked up. <laughs> but, you know, I Pedro, for the same... For the same amount of money you would have paid to that weekend concert last night that lasted 10 minutes, you could be staying in the heart of wine country, you see. Look at that. And we have about, we have about 10 seconds, so really quickly, yeah. what about the beach? 
Yeah, the beach destinations are going to be super attractive, as as you know. Uh, south of the border destinations, those are going to be those have been hot all uh, you know all year long. Mexico has been the number one search uh, search uh, term on our website at Travel Zoo over the last several months. This is the Garza Blanca in Los Cabos. Three nights for nine fifteen. Another five hundred bucks makes it an all inclusive uh, escape. So Cabo San Lucas, Puerto Vallarta, uh, anything on that western stretch of Mexico. Again, it's going to be really hot over the next couple of months. Keep an eye on the news of the day. As we know, there's, you know Mexico has been, has been seeing a series of, uh, of issues, not so much in the resort destinations for the most part, but just keep in mind what's going on in the news of the day. But still, people are reconciling what they're hearing in the news, playing it safe, being smart, and taking advantage of some pretty dramatic uh, savings south of the border. Well, you helped us with our recent Cabo trip, so I'm going to check that one out for the next one. Thank you okay. so much, Gabe. For you more travel tips and deals, you can head to TravelZoo.com slash TV.